meant to be his his holy grounds. I'm sitting on the coffee shop now, I think. <laughs> um, that, and then secondly, obviously volunteers are what makes um, what makes it run, what makes it function. So without volunteers, we can't open more hours. Um, if you're feeling that little tug on your heartstring right now from the Lord or that little perk, saying maybe it should be you, come and speak to us. Even if you can't volunteer every week, we'd really like to get a roster together of people that maybe could fill in if someone else can't be there, or if we have a special event, maybe you could do occasionally. We'd love to get your name on a list and, and reach out to you and have a chat with you. Um, that would be amazing. Um, and then thirdly, we have an Instagram page now, and we have Facebook is kind of getting moving again. So if you're on Instagram or Facebook, jump on there, like us, share anything you can, comment, anything you can do to kind of get the word out really, really helps. Lots more people are going to see us and, and come in from that. So we would appreciate that too. No, I'm, I'm saying about food again. If you're feeling the, <laughs> feeling the poke about baking for us, um, obviously the more cakes, you know, the better. Um, I'd like to do special things like we have St. Patrick's Day coming up. Uh, someone had mentioned it'd be nice to do like Irish soda bread or featured items. So it's not something you have to always, you know, be baking every Tuesday and delivering on Mondays. Or if, if it's just a one-off, you say, hey, I'd like to, you know, bake this for you guys for St. Patrick's Day, um, you know, or whatever, whatever special occasion comes up. Or if you just feel the inkling that, hey, you'd like to bake. So we, we would love that as well. Great, thank you. Um, let's just pray for this pair, shall we? Um, it, you know, they're seeking to stay in tune with what God is saying. I mean, I think their their minds are full of ideas, but it, the, the 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 secret is going at God's pace, um, and that's what we need to pray for them, um, and that that they would continue to be excited, and that we would continue to see God doing great things through this place. So let me pray for you too now. Father God, we thank you so much for, uh, once again, for bringing Roger and Joe so unexpectedly into our church family and um, stirring them up to apply for this role. And thank you for um, giving them all the creative ideas that you are putting into their minds. And we pray that they would seek to keep in step with you, in step with your spirit. Um, uh, day by day and thank you for their boldness in speaking to people and offering to pray for people and Father we ask that you would bless them um, in this role as they are a blessing to others and we just thank you for them and we pray that you would protect them from um, any attacks from the enemy, any discouragement, sickness, um, ill health. Father we just pray your complete protection over them as they uh, are entering into this this new season in their lives. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Um, and something to be praying for, which is a one-off event that we're having the day before Mother's Day. Um, it's we're seeking to bless young mums by putting on a breakfast. And so it's not just for any women. This time it is just for young mums. And um, please get in touch with Anna Dean if you know of a young mum who. Would, need, would really benefit from being blessed by this, or if you are a young mum and you'd like to come along, that is Saturday the 26th, is it? Um, 9.30 to 10.30 at Moor. And it's, it's just a treat for young mums. So please, the rest of us, can we be praying for that event, that the right people, the right numbers come along. Now I'm going to ask Rick to come.